Hi guys, welcome back. It's Simply Amanda. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. Guys, this is the last week of my so-called $20 grocery challenge. I blew it again. I blew it again. Um, you can say I basically blew it because I found a really good deal that I was not about to pass up. Totally surprised. Usually I have to go like into the major town to find anything. But I found something like four miles down the road in my grocery store and I was like blown away. I'm going to show that to you. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I did get. The reason I blew it is because I stopped up on a lot of stuff that I was missing because my grandchildren had been wanting it. Yes, I know. Um, I can kind of like spoil my grandkids sometimes. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get here and show you what I got, how much I spent, and especially show you this great deal that I found. So the first thing I got, first thing I got, um, this is a Walmart haul. This is a Walmart haul. Y'all, stuff's been going up at Walmart. It went, I noticed the price gone up today. Let me show you what I got. I picked up two of these sour creams right here because I was out because I used one. I've got like half of one left. And um, several casseroles and recipes I got. So I got one of this right here. This was or two forty two, I think something like that. And then I picked up a bunch of these smokies. I picked up like two packs of these smokies um, for my grandson because this is his favorite. Grandma ain't had it lately. He goes, Grandma, why don't you have this? And I'm like, because Grandma's not been going to the store like she usually does. And he didn't understand that. So anyway, I picked up these two right here. Actually, I got two of these and two of these. I also picked up, uh, no brainer, grapes, grapes, they were like $2.08 a pound, which is a good price right now, because everybody else is going like for $4 a pound, so that's one good thing Walmart's got going on that's a good price. Um, what else did I pick up here? Oh, let me dig this out. Um, cheese. I picked up some cheese slices, because I haven't had any in the house for a long time, and I'm fixing to make up a whole lot of breakfast sandwiches for hubby. Um, and it needs cheese with it. And then I also picked up, hopefully this thing over here ain't about to fall. I also picked up, um, is this 12? This 12 pack of yogurt. It was six, six sixty two. Actually, it was actually a dollar less. It was a dollar less. So that's a good thing. If I picked up this, this usually lasts me about two, three weeks, depending on, I eat one at least every other day. Um, what else do I got? I picked up a bag of plain picked up a bag of plain chips. They were three twelve for the pack, and um, this is going to be for a casserole, two casseroles. That's the reason I got it. It's because it's it's going to be the topping of two casseroles that I need. Uh, so I picked up this, and I picked up this pack for hubby's lunch. Y'all, I have not bought chips since my discount grocery store haul. Link it up above or in the description box. Um, I'm out of chips entirely, so I had to buy some. This was also 312. This is just to go into his lunch. I need to get back up to the store. Um, hopefully, within the next month, I'll be back in the mountains and I can do it again. Um, and then the last thing I got was uh, these right here. They're honey barbecue. They're the honey bar honey barbecue corn chips, the Walmart brand. They were dollar ninety seven. This is another one of my grandson's favorite foods. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything I got, um, with the exception of... Guys, this next item was kind of a splurge because I don't ever get it, but they had it in the clearance section. And when you figure out it's going to feed two people for one meal or one meal for two people, it'll, it's going to be my husband and my for supper for tomorrow night. I got two boneless ribeye steaks, um, and they are normally, two of them would have been $9, but two of them were $6.20, um... That's three dollars a piece, y'all. That and my potatoes. That's going to be a steak dinner for under yeah, a steak dinner for under four dollars, guys. Yeah, seriously, that's that's good. Considering if you go out and you get a steak dinner with a baked potato, your steak, and either a salad or some kind of vegetable, it's going to be starting at ten bucks. So I'm thinking um, five bucks and under for a. Uh, a t uh, ribeye steak dinner. That's good. That's just that's a little. I guess a little splurge for us. This is a little splurge for us. So that was $6 for two of them. Um, and you notice it was on clearance. It was reduced because I'm not paying. I'm only going to pay $10 for it. That's, even that's not a bad idea, a, buy, a bad price because they're $9.99 a pound. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes you just got to splurge and I'm craving red meat. I'm seriously craving red meat. I need it. So let's get on and show you the really, really good deal I got. Okay, guys. Can you guess what's in the box? It's 20 pounds of something. 
and I only paid 15. Let me show you the price for it. Let's bring it in closer so you can see the price. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I only pay $14.99 or $15. Sorry, it's backwards for 20 pounds. And what it is, it is breast filet fritters. It's 20 pounds right here. That that equals out to about equals about to right about 75, 79 cents a pound for chicken breast filet fritters. All you have to do is put them in your um, air fryer. Your microwave, I wouldn't suggest that. Oven or air fryer, they're not cooked, and then they're done. You don't have to do anything to them. But for 75 to 79 cents a pound for pre-cooked, well, not pre-cooked, but for chicken breasts like that, y'all, you, you can't beat that deal. I was so shocked when I got down to that store. I want to tell you something. What happened was I had to go to the Piggly Wiggly yesterday because that's my local, is the closest grocery store. It's like four or five miles from me. I had to go in there yesterday. What did I have to get? Bread, because I, I ran out of bread. I, I kind of knew it. But anyway, I ran out of bread. I needed bread. Went in there to get a loaf of bread. And when I'm there, I'm always checking out the clearances, you know, um, because you never know what you'll get. And I stumbled upon this box of meat right here. Yes. And what I did is I bought another box yesterday, 20 pounds, and I bought it back home. I'm like, if this is any good, I'm going back and getting another case today. And I popped it in my air fryer, cooked it in about 20, 25 minutes, bought it out. Y'all, it, it, it made the most amazing chicken. It has a golden coating. I'll show you in a minute. And I'm like, what I'm going to do is that I know I had to go back out this morning to Walmart. I had to do my regular grocery shopping. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go by there and I'm going to see if there's any more left. Because there were like seven or eight cases, I'm thinking. Um, and sure enough, I went in there. I'm like, they're going to be gone. For this price, they're going to be gone. But you guys know what? they weren't they were like eight cases and it looked like only maybe one other box had been bought since yesterday when I bought them so hence to say I now have a total of 40 pounds worth of chicken breast filet fritters and I only paid $30 for 40 pounds y'all that's how you stock up that's how you you shop if you can but this is not something I was looking for good lord put it in front of my my path and I'm blessed for it because you know usually you can go out and buy those packs of um chicken tenders chicken nuggets or whatever and they're like seven dollars the Nate off brand is like five or something these this is like 79 cents a pound 79 cents a pound I couldn't believe it um now the expiration date on this does go in May maybe that's why they had a markdown I haven't the slightest clue but whatever it's a good deal and if people aren't getting onto this they need to so let me go ahead and get this put up and I'll This is everything from that one box right there. This is 20 pounds of these chickens, and I end up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine. So there's roughly two, two and something in each one because it's 20 pounds worth. And I did have this one over here that was like frozen together. I'm gonna thaw that out and actually um cook it for lunch guys here's my receipt from walmart right here you i know it's gonna be backwards but it was can you see that i'm not sure if you can see that 51 dollars and 
46 cents. I'm not sure you could tell. Now, all that wasn't $50, $51. I actually spent $10 on some bird seed as well. So that was $40. The chicken over here was $15. So that made it $55. And if you want to count the block, the, um, the other 20 pounds of chicken I got yesterday, it made it $70. So I spent $70 this week. Um, far cry, that was 50 bucks over my goal. But I'm happy with what I got because, guys, that right there was a blessing. Because the ones I got, I'll link it up above, um, from another store that's kind of local. Not Well, it's about 30, 35 minutes from here. Um, this was even a better price. 79 cents for a chicken breast that are all you got to do is throw into your oven or whatever. An amazing deal, guys. Th stuff like that's hard to pass up. Thank you guys for taking the time to stop by. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I so appreciate it. You guys have an amazing day. Those deals are out there. They just gotta, they just gotta look for them. And sometimes they just come at you from the Lord. And I'm so thankful for these. You guys have an amazing day. Until next video, God bless.